Hi guys! So today we're going to talk about how to sort shapes. So this week we've been learning about plane shapes. Plane shapes are shapes that are 2D or two-dimensional. That means they go two directions. So they go side to side, horizontal, and they go top to bottom, vertical. Um, there, I also tell my students that they are flat like paper. There are four plane shapes that we learn about in first grade. We learn about a triangle, a circle, a rectangle, and a square. So today we're going to talk about how we can compare and sort these different shapes that are on my screen. So you'll see I have a variety of shapes on my screen. They, um, I say a variety because they are different from each other in um, multiple different ways. So there are different ways that we can sort them. Let's start by actually sorting them by shape. So let's sort them into four groups by the four shapes that we just named. So let's put all the circles up in this upper left hand corner. Any shape that is a circle, I'm going to put in this upper left hand corner here. This is going to be my circle group. Over here in the right upper hand corner, I'm going to put triangles. So anything that is a triangle will go in this upper right hand corner. In the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to put all of my rectangles. So all of my shapes that are rectangles will go in this bottom right hand corner. And in my bottom left hand corner, I'll put all the squares. Great. So here you can see that we sorted these shapes by shape. So this group, the thing that is the same about all of them, is they are all circles. This group, the thing that is the same about them, is they are all triangles. This group is all rectangles, and this group is all squares. But that's not the only way that we could sort these shapes. I bet you notice some other things that are different about these shapes besides their actual shape. I bet you notice that they are different, did you say colors? I bet you did, because I see that I have three different colors of shapes on my screen here. So I'm gonna now sort my shapes by color. I'm gonna put all the blue shapes up in this upper, le um, upper left hand corner. No matter what their shape is, I'm, I'm going to put all the blue shapes there. Great, so I think that's all the blue ones. In the upper right hand corner, I'm going to put all the yellow shapes. So no matter what their actual shape is, I'm going to put all the yellow ones up here. And then at the bottom of the middle of my screen, I'm going to put all the red shapes. Great, so now we just sorted our shapes in a second way, a different way. Over in this corner, I have the blue shapes. In this corner, I have the yellow shapes. And in this corner, I have the red shapes. But there's even more ways I could sort these shapes. Besides color and shape, you may have noticed that they are different sizes. Great job. So let's make three more new groups, this time sorting by size. So I'm going to leave this blue circle in the upper left hand corner. I notice that it is a large shape. Compared to all the other circles, it's the largest one. So I'm going to put all the other large shapes up in this corner with that blue circle. Great. I think those are all the largest ones on the screen. Then over here in the upper right hand corner, I notice that this triangle is what I would call medium shaped. It's smaller than this red triangle and this blue triangle, but it's bigger than this blue triangle. And this red one should actually go up in the large shape, so we'll move that there. So I'm going to put all the other medium shapes in the same group as the yellow triangle. 
All right, I think I got them all. And then I'm left with this group at the bottom, and these are my small shapes. These are all small. Wonderful, so now I've got three new groups. These are my large shapes, these are my medium shapes, and these are my small shapes. But you may not know this, but there's even more ways that you could sort your shapes. We won't do any more together, but you could start thinking about maybe sorting them by how many sides they have or how many corners they have. So maybe you have a group of all the shapes that have three sides and a group of shapes that have four sides and a group of shapes that have zero sides. Or you could do it by corners. So there are lots of different ways that you can, short, that you can sort shapes. These are called attributes or characteristics. So some of the different ones that we tried were color, size, and shape. And then other ones I mentioned that you could try on your own if you wanted was number of sides or number of corners. Now the next thing you're gonna do on the slides is um, Mrs. Arendt, one of our other first grade teachers, has made some different shape slides for you and you're gonna practice sorting shapes on your own. Good luck, friends. Have a good day.